Chapter 33 Then in the distance Jacob saw Esau coming with his four hundred men. Jacob now arranged his family into a column, with his two concubines and their children at the front, Leah and her children next, and Rachel and Joseph last. Then Jacob went on ahead. As he approached his brother, he bowed low seven times before him. Then Esau ran to meet him and embraced him affectionately and kissed him. Both of them were in tears. Then Esau looked at the women and children and asked, Who are these people with you? These are the children God has graciously given to me, Jacob replied. Then the concubines came forward with their children and bowed low before him. Next Leah came with her children, and they bowed down. Finally Rachel and Joseph came and made their bows. And what were all their flocks and herds I met as I came? Esau asked. Jacob replied, Their gifts, my lord, to ensure your goodwill. Brother, I have plenty, Esau answered. Keep what you have. No, please accept them, Jacob said. For what a relief it is to see your friendly smile. It is like seeing the smile of God. Please take my gifts, for God has been very generous to me. I have more than enough. Jacob continued to insist, so Esau finally accepted them. Well, let's be going, Esau said. I will stay with you and lead the way. But Jacob replied, You can see, my lord, that some of the children are very young, and the flocks and herds have their young too. If they are driven too hard, they may die. So go on ahead of us. We will follow at our own pace and meet you at Seir. Well, Esau said, At least let me leave you some of my men to guide and protect you. There is no reason for you to be so kind to me, Jacob insisted. So Esau started back to Seir that same day. Meanwhile, Jacob and his household traveled on to Succoth. There he built himself a house and made shelters for his flocks and herds. That is why the place was named Succoth. Then they arrived safely at Shechem in Canaan, and they set up camp just outside the town. Jacob bought the land he camped on from the family of Hamor, Shechem's father, for a hundred pieces of silver. And there he built an altar and called it El Elohi Israel.